All right, we're back with former Cup driver Rick Mast, our very, very good friend. Sweet. Thank you for joining us, Rick. And, and one of the people that was your good friend in racing is, of course, Dale Earnhardt. He Dale was. Earnhardt Sr. is a, a big moment coming up for us, the 10th anniversary of his passing, and a time yep. really to kind of look back, think about what he – first of all, what he meant to the sport, Rick. I mean, you told me he was the sports superman. Man, I don't know. I think we all – I think we had guys during different eras, you know. Mm -hmm. I think we had, we had uh, Fireball Roberts his era you know we had the Myers brothers era before that I think we had Richard Petty era then I think we had the Dale Earnhardt era and each one of those guys it's like they came along at the right time you know what I'm saying Richard Petty came along and elevated the sport he he actually taught everybody how you deal with fans if you're a driver you're not a prima donna okay and uh, you're a great driver you do all that but this is how you deal with the fans when Earnhardt come along he I think his deal was everybody related to Earnhardt as just my buddy Mm -hmm. You know, my everyday man, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, everybody knew his story. He's very humble. He worked. I mean, he drove the race car to feed his family, man. That's what he did, you know. And that, that drive was in him to do that, to win. And it, it never left him. It, even after he became successful and famous and all that and wealthy, that drive was still the same. And uh, I don't know how – you know, the thing about Dale that, that doesn't get talked about much is how intelligent this guy was. Right. I mean, I, you could go to Dale and talk about something – he could tell you a race. We'd be talking about something. He said, well, you remember, Rick, four years ago at, at Dover on lap 309, you was running 16th, and I was 18th, and we had pit stops 20 laps before that, and then you put two tires on, I put four. I'm like, what? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> you know what I mean? He was like that. But uh, in racing, but in, in the business sense, too, just Dale was a really sharp cookie. You know? Right. And he was intimidator and iron, iron head and all that stuff. The thing about Dale, he, he, he had that, I guess, still a cage around him you might call it people said you know it's hard even the guys at garage are it's hard to get to know dale you know he didn't let you into that inner circle very easily you know what i mean? see uh -huh. I, I felt fortunate to be able to get in there early in my career he helped me a lot and but you know what i learned it it it, it, it that that shield was there not to protect himself from all the outside people i think that shield was there for him to protect his image because dale if you got no Dale, Dale is a very intelligent person with a heart this big. You know what I mean? He's like a little pussycat. I mean, just a little teddy bear, right? Right. And I think he had that shield around him to keep that image intact of Iron Head. The brand, the, the Dale Earnhardt brand. The brand, brand. Intimidator, Right, know? the guy with his arms crossed and that kind of thing. Which he was on the racetrack. Right. There's no, there's no getting right. around that. But personally, you know, he, I think that's what that shield was about. Well, talk. I, I, I really do. Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Property.com. <laughs>